However, sometimes ESLint comes with Prettier for some other like extra functionality and we are going to add these two also to the project very quickly. So what we need, what we really need to do is just to go and install a few more packages. Just going to install ESLint config Prettier, ESLint plugin Prettier and the Prettier itself. And once we are doing these things, so now that we have all of these packages, we need to change a little bit ESLint RC here. So So now that we have we have add this to the second line basically line 5 it is trying to use prettier for linting typescript project and uh, just ignore all the conflict which is coming from the typescript eslint plugin which we just installed uh, in the first part so let me just bring this one in so yes this line line 13 which we had ESLint plugin. So by adding, by extending the Prettier TypeScript ESLint, we are just trying to use Prettier for linting the TypeScript project. And the last one is the Prettier recommended, which is which should be at the end of the array. As you can see in line six, we are just adding to the last one, and it's going to enable ESLint plugin Prettier and display Prettier errors as ESLint errors. So make sure this is always the last configuration in extend array and this is it for now so now that we have pretty and ESLint together we can see how can we benefit from that one so if I just do some like a messy stuff here I don't know as of the moment we just click here you can see pretty it says delete the spaces and then as a moment we just press ctrl s it's going to save it